Hello everyone, my name is your good friend Joe and I'm going to be reviewing some art. Uh, some of this art is going to have some memes in it and we're going to be trashing it. We're going to be trashing medieval art. Low hanging fruit. Let's go. Can baby Jesus look any more disgusted here? That is a face of disgust. Baby Jesus is already over it. That's his third selfie of the week and he's already over it. A lot more to come baby Jesus, a lot more to come. And he's really setting the tone here. Look, a lot of these pictures that we're gonna be looking at, the people, the look on their faces are just so blase. They're just so disgusted, like they could not be bothered. Like this next one, for example. Look at Sarah. Sarah could not give a shit. She's like, oh, I got shot in the chest again with a bow and arrow. What is this, 1303? God, clearly getting smashed in the head with rocks like that guy in the background. I think that's a rock. That's all the rage. Getting hit in the heart with an arrow? No, that's dated. And look at the horses in the background. They could not give a shit. They just don't care. You see, at first glance here, I thought Jim and Tim were uh, about to go surfing. I thought that was a surfboard and they were about to go in the water with a surfboard, but that's apparently a human. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they can't decide if that's the right thing to do or not to throw this poor fella into the lake with an uh, anchor uh, attached to his neck. They're like, eh, is this the right thing to do? I don't know, maybe we're taking this too far. Nah. You see, planking was a thing already back in the 1400s, and they did it naked with their legs crossed in the most creepy... Uh, manner possible. The real question is, is what's in that box? I can only imagine probably uh, children. There's probably children in that box. When you come home smelling of someone else's dog. What it should say is when you come home and your dog is turning into a human mixed with a mop. <laughs> to me, the uh, human nose gives it away. Um, I mean, what am I supposed to do with this picture here? Choke him with an artichoke. There you go, I made a joke with artichokes. I like how he's just like doing it in the most dramatic way. Like, I don't want to choke you with this artichoke, but I have no choice but to choke you with this artichoke. And you see, they also had furries back in the day. And if you don't know what a furry is, look it up. This furry is holding up a note. I don't know what it says, but that is a kind of a terrifying looking furry. And it looks like a child, uh, maybe turning into a werewolf. I don't know what's going on here, but he is way ahead of his time. And this is what happens when you drink too much. Uh, clearly she had one too many drinks. She got so drunk that she's uh, puking up her brains. And look at the etiquette there, holding her hair back. Very etiquette-like, very good. And the well, grandma on the left is just, school, she's yeah. just completely over it. Arms up in the air, she, she's just done with it. And I mean, there is some blood in that puke. You might want to get that checked out. I don't know if they had good doctors back then, but you might want to get that checked out. And here's my favorite picture. Where do I begin? I mean, forget the fact that her neck is like a foot long neck. Just look at the face on this woman. Just completely disgusted by what she was handed. It's like she was handed like a, a moldy loaf of bread. <laughs> She's like, should I bite this bread? I mean, it's a little stale, it's a little old, but I mean, I am hungry. And the, the poor child is just like, please don't bite my head off or don't throw me in the trash. Jesus Christ. Beautiful picture. Just beautiful. When you feed your cats an hour late true and as someone who's very allergic to cats this is just a complete nightmare for me and look even the cat lady's getting involved in the top left i mean yeah be a better pet owner be a better cat owner don't end up like this woman on the ground with this big herculean cat jamming his claws into her crotch feed your cats don't be late yeah this isn't creepy at all i like how the woman has like the fake surprise look on her face like okay sid i get it you're creeping up on me again Woohoo! i'm fucking scared yeah he is um he's pretty aggressive in this picture i mean he really has a crush on Anne marie here you know busting out the rope and uh tying it to her waist it's a little aggressive move but some women like aggressiveness they like when men are aggressive they like when men let you know hey i'm in you um, you know, Sid the Skeleton's a little, he might be a little too aggressive here, but, you know, Anne Marie is okay with that. She's just like, whatever, just let him do it. <sighs> yeah, this picture should not exist. Uh, two main questions here. Why is Jesus naked? And why is that guy pregnant? At least, is, is that his belly? I can't even tell if that's his belly. Is that his thigh? That could be his thigh. Maybe it's like a tumor. I like how the angel on the right is just like, yeah, I'm not even, I'm not getting involved. I'm out. And look at the pinky on that man's hand. Giving me anxiety. And that's very nice of naked Jesus to give his belly a nice rub down. Very nice of him. When your drunk friends try to look sober while you negotiate with the bouncer. Look, if you are so drunk that not even Jesus Christ can negotiate you into a bar or a club, you need to just go home. Look at Jesus. I think he's like, look, he's like, I'm not drunk. That's her. 
Like, I should be allowed in this club. <laughs> and the guy in the background's like, come on, Jesus. You said you would help us, please. And the woman's just like, I can't. I I'm about to puke. I'm about to puke. Me going grocery shopping at 4 a.m. because I fucking hate humans. Look, I don't know who took this picture of me, but it's making me look worse than what it really is. Because yes, that is a picture of me, and that is me going grocery shopping at 4 in the morning because I fucking hate people. But I love you guys. When you didn't do anything for the group project, but still get an A. An A's an A, boys. An A's an A. <laughs> that is the best face ever. Look, I think my eighth grade teacher, bless her heart, I'm pretty sure that the last project we had in class was a group project because she knew that I needed help. She teamed me up with the smart guys and we got an A. And here I am today. I ended up fucking up in high school too. But uh, look at me now, reviewing memes uh, at home for YouTube. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.